This is Northumbria University Nursery. Children, even from a very young age, become capable of making choices about their own routines. To encourage this independence, the nursery has introduced a new type of bed, the coracle. I think it fitted with our vision of independent children's choice and where they could choose to crawl into the beds yes. themselves and it's not being chosen when you want to put all the children to sleep in cots. Mm -hmm. It's very much fits with us of being a child-led environment. Mm -hmm. The foundations of children's independence lie in the relationships the practitioners build up with the children. Having the security of a familiar and responsive adult means the children feel safe to gradually become more independent. Children who are supported and helped to be independent gradually become able to take control themselves. As they feel sleepy, the children are encouraged to become aware of the need for a rest. Evie has climbed in on her own and lies down herself. Her efforts are encouraged. Libby's ready for a nap as well. Lynn helps her in. Lynn's comfortable on the floor and in a good position to help Libby go off to sleep. The eye contact, reassuring touch and soothing singing help Libby drift off. Previously, it would be traditional for a member of staff to sit next to a cot and slide their arm through the bars and to be patting the child or bending over. And also if you have cots that the, the sides don't retract fully, you know, the strain on staff backs, putting a child into a cot, lifting them back out of a cot. Whereas, you know, we have bean bags that will sit on the rugs around the coracles so the staff can sit at the child's level and it's much more comfortable for the staff as well to do that. I've had good comments from parents as well and they've actually come to um, pick up their children and the, 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 ch the baby has been asleep in the coracle and they're just amazed how comfortable and cosy they, they look. But I know in her own cot she started nuzzling towards one end where, the, where all the teddies are to, to, to sort of be part of a little space rather than being left in the middle of the cot which is how she's slept for ages. Um, and it's a big cot as well so I don't think they like being in this huge vast uh, boundaryless space. I think it's nice to have these little you know, pods, spaces that they can be within in, in life generally it's part of a routine. Where are you climbing to? Well that's the other good thing about a boundary, it means you can break it. <laughs> <laughs> it's creating that little sort of cocoon I guess um, for them to sort of you know to, to sort of cosy up in and snuggle up in um, but I think they do have that sort of um, that added benefit of you know they can be used to play as well um, rather than just being a mat on the floor that they're sitting on or, or whatever they, they, they can sort of have it as a play area as well so. mm -hmm. Evie stirs but is given the space and time to get herself back off to sleep she strokes her ear to soothe herself Being more independent and taking control is known as self-regulation. Waking up too soon and being able to put yourself back to sleep is an important self-regulation feature. Children use sucking, movements or tactile feelings like stroking or feeling a blanket to put themselves back to sleep. When the children wake up, it's really lovely because they 
they can lie there, they're, they're safe on the floor and they're cosy and, um, you know, they can just basically wake up themselves. There's always a member of staff close by. Eve is quite content as she moves from a sleepy state to a more alert one. She babbles to herself and feels the boundaries of her space. A few encouraging words from Lynn, and she's ready to get up and explore. <laughs> Libby's quick to rise, jumping up for a cuddle. The independence they're given builds up their ability to know how they're feeling, what state they're in and what they want to do. This will encourage their confidence to manage things for themselves, helping them to become masterful. For the coracles, it's very simple, they're very light, we can stack them up and then what we can do is put them to the side of the room or we can just slip them outside the baby room and then that's given us a whole new space mm -hmm. to be working in the nursery for a different activity. You know, when you first see them, because yeah, that used to happen, cots and, but I do, they do like them and I think it is nice that they can just get into them themselves because they're, they're never ever going to be able to get into the cot and I think they're all nice to play in as well. The area being defined as it is, is just more, it's more purposeful. But yes, they're very nice, it's very cosy. I like it, really like it.